Hello everyone, this is Saurav and welcome to Orissa Post Live and these are today's top headlines. Orissa's capital city Bhubaneswar is celebrating its 76th foundation day today. First Prime Minister of India Jawaharlal Nehru laid the foundation stone of the city April 13, 1948. World-renowned German architect and urban planner Otto Koenigsberger prepared the city's first master plan that year. Several parts of Odisha are likely to witness maximum temperature over 40 degrees Celsius in the next couple of days, predicted the India Meteorological Department. As per the prediction by the agency, the maximum day temperature is expected to rise by 6 to 8 degrees Celsius across Odisha during the period. Senior officials of both states including Odisha DGP Arun Kumar Sadangi, his West Bengal counterpart Sanjay Mukherjee and superintendents of police of border districts participated in the meeting. Sanitary workers and security personnel of the capital hospital staged protests in Bhubaneswar Saturday demanding payment of their salaries on time. As per reports, the sanitary workers in the hospital have halted their work since Saturday morning. They have played captain innings in AstroTurf while representing the Indian hockey team, but this time they are trying their luck in the electoral battlefield in Sundargarh district, often referred to as the cradle of hockey in Odisha. Their Hockey India president and former Rajya Sabha MP Dilip Tirki and ex-Indian hockey team captain Prabodh Tirki. While Dilip Tirki is the BJD candidate for the Sundargarh Lok Sabha constituency, his junior and former India hockey captain Prabodh Tirki is the Congress candidate from the Talsara Assembly segment, also in Sundargarh district. A woman teacher of a government school in Odisha's Bodh has been suspended by the district election officer come district collector for allegedly attending an election rally and procession, an official notification said Saturday. The woman teacher of government nodal high school at Dahaya had allegedly participated in a political rally from Palaspath to Ambagaon in Kantamal Assembly constituency two days ago in violation of ECI rules, it said. Senior Aam Aadmi Party leader and Rajya Sabha MP Sanjay Singh Saturday claimed that Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal was not being allowed to meet his family at Mulakat Jangla in Tihar Jail. Addressing a press conference, Singh alleged it to be an attempt to break the morale of Kejriwal. The Ministry of Commerce and Industry has issued an advisory to the e-commerce companies directing them to remove all drinks and beverages, including Bon Vita, from the category of health drinks on their portal and platforms. The advisory comes on the back of an investigation by the NCPCR that found that Bon Vita contains sugar levels much above the acceptable limits. The CBI has told a special court that BRS leader K. Kavita allegedly threatened Aurobindo Pharma promoter Sharath Reddy to pay an amount of Rs 25 crore to the Aam Aadmi Party for the five retail zones allotted to his firm under the Delhi government's excise policy. According to the CBI, Kavita had told Reddy that in case he did not pay the amount to the ruling Aam Aadmi Party in the national capital, his business would be harmed in Telangana and Delhi. Israel is bracing for a direct attack by Iran as warnings grow of retaliation for the killing last week of a senior officer in Iran's embassy in Damascus. US and other intelligence assessments have said the retaliation could come as soon as Sunday. The unprecedented attack could trigger an all-out regional war. US meanwhile has started moving naval assets to Red Sea as President Biden announced his commitment to Israel's security ironclad. That's all for today's top headlines. Stay tuned to Orissa Post Live.